It's not often that an entire exhibit pavilion wins Byte's Best of Show award at Comdex. But such is the excitement these days over Linux. The editors of Byte recognize that with their award for the entire Linux pavilion. Here to explain is Alexander Purnell, producer of the Best of Show Comdex Awards for Byte.com. Speaking of which, what's the deal now? There's no more Byte magazine, but you're doing it online at Byte.com? All online. Everyone can view it anytime, anywhere. Doesn't Same kind of content? On. Absolutely. All Longer right. in some cases. So Byte is alive and well, just online? Yes, sir. All right. So let's go back to the awards. You guys have been doing awards at Comdex forever, as far as I can remember. Okay. Why did you give the Best of Show Award to the whole Linux Pavilion? Because we thought that was the most exciting thing at the show. We thought that we were pointing out that here was a product that was suddenly making a big impact on the industry that people had heard of but had never thought of as a product that they could use. Yeah. And suddenly they could use it on their own desktops okay. at home. And it's a lot more real, a lot more user friendly, a lot more sort of normal now, right? Let's take a look at it. You've got, you've got Linux up here right now. What version of Linux, by the way? This is Red Hat Distribution 6.1. Gotcha. And I mean, it looks sort of Windowish, right? I mean, this is not Unix. So you've got to get in there and type stuff. No, no. This is the uh, user interface is reasonably familiar. Right. We've got a reasonably familiar cascading menu. All right, so let's take a look at some of the apps that this comes with here. Okay, we'll go just scroll through so we have with the address, the usual stuff. Yeah, including a uh, spreadsheet. Comes a little built-in spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's let's go back to this that pull down menu for a second and see sure. some of the other apps. Uh, so it just, I mean, it sort of looks like Windows, right? Yeah. I mean, same sort of idea. Works, works enough length that you can probably puzzle it out, and if not, yeah. at least you've got some traction to start. Now. Except for the fact that you may be a Microsoft Bill Gates hater, why should anybody want to put Linux on their machine? To try, to explore, to see if it works for them, and to learn about Unix, because Unix is not only not going away, I think is going to be a bigger thing uh -huh. than in the past, and as a way to run applications that cannot crash, where else can you get for $30 an enterprise class operating system? All right, so let's do more reliable. I mean, Linux yes. people say more reliable yes, than Windows, so. Unix-based. Uh, less expensive. Yes. And open. And open. You want to go in there and play with it or get somebody else's tweak? It's very easy to or do that. Or rewrite it or combine bits of it. Linux comes out in distributions not because which are controlled by the person who writes them. Yeah. And who collates them. Okay. Next wrap has been, hey, there are no applications. Yeah, Linux is great and I'd like an alternative to Microsoft, but I can't run anything. That's been solved. In fact, let me show uh, everybody this. You also gave your best software award to the Corel Office Suite for Linux. Mm -hmm. And why did that win the best software award? Because we thought that it was important to Linux and important for the whole usage of Linux as an operating system to have a real word processing suite. And here's a real word processing suite. The number and it's a whole office finished. suite, yes, not sir. only word perfect. Yes, this is a not quite finished, but very, very nearly finished version. Yeah. It's not quite out, but this version runs. All right, so show us word perfect for Linux. Looks familiar, looks a lot All the like, same basic stuff. I mean, it's have all stuff. the sort of robust functionality that you'd expect. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's full WordPerfect 8. It just happens to be running on top of Unix. Yeah, and I mean runs as well or maybe better than if you were running on Windows, you're saying? I believe so. What about, say, the cost of buying the Corel suite as opposed to buying Microsoft Office? It lists for less and okay. it should cost you less. It, it, it itself is not open. You can't go in and rewrite it. Got it. It runs Got on it. top of an open operating yeah. system. All right. Uh, all right, what, what other apps are there? We can do the whole Office bit. I mean, can I browse the web on Linux? Yes, sir. Here's the uh, Netscape uh, browser. Right, so there's a version of, of Netscape up there. Mm -hmm. Now, if, if I, the other fear people have, I've got Windows, you know, that sort of sneakily ties up your whole machine. I mean, is it going to dis be a disaster to my computer if I also install Linux? No. No, you can use a part of your hard drive. I use can a do it. hard drive. And you can go in and play with it. The safest way would be to get a second hard drive, right. install Linux on it, and don't run anything else on it, Got and it. Windows wouldn't even know about it. All right, so sort of keep them apart if you can, but you could put it on the same hard drive. And most people do. Yeah. Some people have three, four operating systems on the same drive. Uh, other thing people worry about is the installation process. Very complicated. You have to be a geek, et cetera. Has that been improved? Much improved. This system can go from soup to nuts in as little, little as 20 minutes. Yeah. A lot of it depends on whether your hardware is supported, but an increasing amount of it Got is. It. Last point we ought to make, Alex, is Many people don't know it, but they're running Linux all the time, right? Because a lot of the Internet world, a lot of the server world is, in fact, using Linux. 
a lot of the smaller ISPs don't use anything but. Yeah. They have a Linux box, they may reboot once every couple of months in order to improve the software. Otherwise, it just sits in a corner or in a, in a closet somewhere and yeah. just runs for months. 